A group of Netflix employees staged a virtual walkout on Wednesday in protest of Dave Chappelle's controversial comedy special, The Closer, which was released on the streaming platform earlier this month. The special has been criticized as being transphobic and potentially harmful to the LGBTQ community. And while many Netflix staffers have urged the company to remove the special or add a warning to it, executives are sticking by the show and maintain it doesn't need a disclaimer. Don't forget to watch today's full video to look at the controversy and how executives, employees, and Chappell himself are responding. Dave Chappell, early in his new, predictably incendiary Netflix special, The Closer, says, in an understatement of the obvious, I'm rich and famous. He says it en route to the larger observation that if the pandemic has been trying for him, he contracted COVID-19 in January, but was asymptomatic. It has been far more so for people who fall into neither category. But from their deters into an extended series of jokes about the LGBTQ community, he refers to being trans as the gender equivalent of wearing blackface, which have mired the special in controversy. For two weeks after its release, on October 5th, The Closer was among the 10 most viewed programs on Netflix, but it was also met with outrage. Jacqueline Moore, the showrunner for the Netflix series, Dear White People, who is white and trans, denounced The Closer and pledged not to work with Netflix in the future. This led to a social media backlash from people asking why Dear White People, a show about black perspectives on white racism, had a white showrunner to begin with. B. Pagels Minor, a black trans non-binary Netflix employee who was helping organize a workplace walkout to protest The Closer, was fired for allegedly leaking internal documents about the special to the press. Pagels Minor denied leaking the material. The walkout took place on October 20th. What was controversial about The Closer? In the comedy special, Chappell mockingly refers to transgender people and sides with Harry Potter, author J.K. Rowling by identifying as Team Turf, a term that means trans-exclusionary radical feminist and excludes trans women as women. Chappell goes on to say gender is a fact and also takes jabs at lesbian and gay people as well as the hashtag MeToo movement. The much-anticipated stand-up special was ranked as the fourth most popular title on Netflix at the time of its October 5 release, according to the New York Times. What has the response been like? Organizations like the National Black Justice Coalition and GLOD have condemned Netflix and Chappell, calling the special transphobic and urging the company to take it down. With 2021 on track to be the deadliest year on record for transgender people in the United States, the majority of whom are black transgender people, Netflix should know better. NBJC Executive Director David Johns said in a statement, Perpetuating transphobia perpetuates violence. Netflix should immediately pull the closer from its platform and directly apologize to the transgender community. GLOD, which monitors media and entertainment companies for bias against the LGBTQ community, also criticized the special, saying that Chappell's brand has become synonymous with ridiculing trans people and other marginalized communities. Negative reviews and viewers loudly condemning his latest special is a message to the industry that audiences don't support platforming anti-LGBTQ diatribes. We agree. Netflix employees have taken to social media to condemn the company's handling of the special, arguing it could incite harm against trans people. Jacqueline Moore, a trans writer and showrunner for the Netflix series Dear White People, said last week that she would no longer work with the company as long as they continue to put out and profit from blatantly and dangerously transphobic content. Tara Field, a Netflix software engineer who is trans, said the special attacks the trans community and the very validity of transness. On Wednesday, Netflix's trans employee resource group staged a walkout in which hundreds gathered in protest of the streaming giant. How have Netflix executives responded? Co-chief executives Reed Hastings and Ted Sarandos have been steadfast in their support of the special. A discussion from an employee messaging board obtained by the New York Times for an October 14 story showed Hastings speaking out in support of artistic expression. To your macro question on being on the right side of history, we will always continue to reflect on the tensions between freedom and safety. I do believe that our commitment to artistic expression and pleasing our members is the right long-term choice for Netflix and that we are on the right side, but only time will tell," Hastings wrote, according to the New York Times. He also wrote that Chappell was very popular with subscribers and that the core strategy is to please our members. When another employee brought up an opinion that Chappell has a history of homophobia and bigotry, Hastings said he disagreed 
and that Netflix would continue to work with the comedian. Netflix sees further actions. In a memo sent to employees last week, Sarandos also affirmed his position in support of the special, according to the New York Times. While some employees disagree, we have a strong belief that content on screen doesn't directly translate to real-world harm, Sarandos said, according to the Times. The strongest evidence to support this is that violence on screens has grown hugely over the last 30 years, especially with first-party shooter games, and yet violent crime has fallen significantly in many countries, he continued. Adults can watch violence, assault, and abuse, or enjoy shocking stand-up comedy without it causing them to harm others. On Tuesday, one day ahead of the walkout, Sarandos walked back some of his comments, saying he screwed up his communications with staff members, but that his stance on the special hasn't changed. According to The Hollywood Reporter, I should have first and foremost acknowledged in those emails that a group of our employees were in pain and they were really feeling hurt from a business decision that we made. Sarandos told THR, saying that his memo lacked humanity, in which I like to and generally do communicate with our teams. Sarandos added that he does believe that content on screen can have impact in the real world, positive and negative. How has Chappell responded? Chappell and his spokespeople have been quiet amid the swirl of controversy. Just days after The Closer was released, Chappell performed at a star-studded show at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles where he was greeted with a standing ovation. If this is what being canceled is like, I love it, he said. What happens next? At Wednesday's rally, the Trans Employee Resource Group read a letter to Sarandos detailing changes they want to see within the company, including a demand that Netflix create a fund for non-binary and trans talent, revise internal processes for releasing potentially harmful content, add disclaimers on shows with transphobic content, and acknowledge the harm Netflix has caused to the trans community among other measures, according to The Hollywood Reporter, David Speaks Up. Dave Chappell is speaking out about the controversy surrounding his recent Netflix comedy, Special The Closer, saying he is open to meeting with LGBTQ employees of the company who are critical of the special, but says he will not be bending to anyone's demands. In a video clip posted to Instagram Monday, Chappell remains unapologetic about the special which includes transphobic material that has angered many in the LGBTQ community at Netflix and beyond. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. It seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore," he said in the five-minute video. Chappell was referring to pushback from Netflix employees who participated in a walkout last week after the company stood by the comedian and allowed the closer to remain on the streaming platform. Netflix also recently fired an employee connected to the blowback over how Chappell and the comedy special are being handled. Netflix officials allege the employee leaked confidential, commercially sensitive information to Bloomberg. The controversy over the closer, which has been available on Netflix since early October, has been brewing for weeks. In the special, Chappell jokes about trans women and their genitalia and defends JK rolling against critics who say she is transphobic and more. Earlier this month, in an interview with CNN, several trans comedians said they felt that Chappell's comments were an example of punching down on those with less power and how the comedian continues to scapegoat trans people. But according to Chappell in Monday's video, everyone I know from that community has been nothing but loving and supportive. So I don't know what this nonsense is about. If Netflix employees were to meet with him, Chappell says he has three conditions for them. First of all, you cannot come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. You must come to a place of my choosing, at a time of my choosing. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gadsby is not funny. Gadsby is an Australian comedian and queer woman. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to join in next time for more of such interesting content.